In Kampala, Uganda's capital, public infrastructure like roads are not keeping up pace with the population. There always seems to be too few roads for cars, motorbike taxis, and pedestrians. This fast-paced life in a place where all modes of transport compete for the same space is challenging for even the most able-bodied city dwellers. But people of all kinds must live and work in this environment. For people with physical challenges, unique problems exist. Getting around Kampala is very challenging for a disabled person. Um, of course, Kampala is full of stairs. It's full of uh, tiles these days with the uh, with, uh, new developments. It's a difficult place to get around. But business must continue whether one needs a special aid to get around or not. Today, Apollo Mukasa is heading out to a meeting with an organization that brings together traders in Kampala City. As the program's director at Uganda National Action on Physical Disability, he represents a group of people that are part of the productive sector whose ideas must be part of the agenda for those that do business in the city. But the environment they operate in is far from enabling. You can only access employment, you can only access social recreation services because those services are offered in an environment which is not accessible to us. Not accessible to a person using a wheelchair, it's a person using crutches, or a person crawling down, you can only go there. So that alone keeps us away from the society. Access to public places like commercial and office buildings for people with physical disabilities has been an issue of quotation in Uganda for almost a decade now. People with physical challenges have fought to ensure that the Ugandan government and public become conscious of issues to do with how they get to work, school or hospital. Campaigning against entrenched stigma is tough and advocating for more inclusive city infrastructure even tougher. Most people don't think we even have any rights at all. There are so many things that we, we are not included in when it comes to things to do with everyday life. But I think uh, a few are learning how to deal with us because there are those who look at us and they always look at us in a sympathetic way. They look at us like we really need to be handled like glasses or something like that. And yet forgetting that we are still human beings and we need... Uh, our dignity, we have dignity and we need respect, like, just like the way they do. And through this advocacy, the message has got across all levels of Ugandan society. From ordinary people that join in such activities to vital strides towards more inclusive public policy. We combine efforts with the government of Uganda, that is the Minister of General Social Development. We combine efforts with the Minister of Works. We combine efforts with the Minister of Education. Another thing was that organization were interested within the history of disability rights and we developed the first ever accessibility standards in the country. I think maybe in East Africa. So the standard which are these standards? The standards we develop a document which guides someone who is constructing a facility. A facility can mean a building, I can mean a latrine, I can mean a toilet, I can mean the road, I can mean anything usable, normal life. How do you construct this facility in such a way? that can be used by a disabled person. People with a physical disability account for about 60% of all persons with disability in Uganda. And they have ensured that issues like how a disabled person accesses toilet facilities and in which state they should be steadily become part of the public agenda. Most of them know of the upcoming buildings coming up in the campaign now. They are mindful of the needs of persons with disability because we continue to monitor them, we continue to sensitize them, and continue keeping them in touch. So at least what they put up is not is act in line with the needs of persons with disabilities. Policy at the national level too is changing. When you look at physical accessibility, under a new law called the Building Control Act 2013, we have provided that all structures must be conducive for persons with disability. But at the same time, at every level of approval, we have provided for uh, a person with disability to be part of those who approve any building structures. People with disabilities in Uganda may have broken some barriers of societal attitudes or compelling public planners and institutional managers to listen to their concerns, but the campaign for inclusion must continue.